In this video, I am going to explain what is business plan and what it contains. Business plan helps a lot to maintain your business without any conflict and it will also reduce the risk of failure. A well business plan will help to introduce the problems and conflicts those will come in the road of your business. So it is very important to make a business plan before you start your business. So what are the different components of your business plan? So when you start a business, you are advised to create a business plan and it should contain the important components which I will be explaining step by step. The first one is the cover letter. The first part of your plan is the cover letter. It is about the writing to a specific person like squeeze the plan to someone to show them your proposal. The reader will judge your plan based upon this letter. A good cover letter will make a reader want to become involved in your venture or a business. It includes name of the business, name and address of the owner, and contact information. The next one is the executive summary. And after the executive summary, that there will be uh, the table of contents which will be divided into two parts. The first category will be the description of the business and second one is the financial section. So in the description of the business, the first point is the product or services. Next is describe the market, then your target customers. What are the major competitors that are there in that particular location? Marketing strategies. What will be the location of your business? Then what management will be involved? What will be the organizational teams and structure? And what kind of uh, uh, ownership that you'll be having in another part of the table of contents that is the financial section the first one is the cash flow projection then projected income statement projected balance sheet and the last one is the other financial information so all these information that you should have in your business plan so one by one that I will be going to explain in the subsequent slides the first one is the executive summary. It serves as an important introduction to a business plan. It must show the important information of your business such as your purpose of doing business. Why you are going to start your business? What is the purpose behind it? And methods of working. What kind of methods and strategies that you are going to start and adopt at the time of doing your business? What will be the marketing position of your product and services? What will be the return on investment? It means at the time when you're going to make some investment in the business, what will be the return on that? How much profit that you'll be earning after investing in your venture? And what are the other benefits of doing business? It should be written at the end once you complete your financial summary. So this is a little bit about the executive summary. Now, what is the description of the business? As we discuss, the description of the business is divided into two parts. So I'm going to explain one by one. The first one is the product or services. This section tells the unique features and benefits of your product or services, and it should include the following. The first one is brief history of your company. Second, the benefits your company will provide to the customers what will be the price and uniqueness of your product and how will that you are going to deliver your product or services in the market to your consumers the next one is market and the target customer it is important to know the market need for your product or services once you know this is the market need these kind of uh, uh, services and product are highly in demand in the market then it will be very easy to describe the target customers who will buy the product or services from your business it includes the industry overview and the target customers as well you need to make a study and the research related to your product or services and their demands so you can you have to consider the two aspects the first one is the business to customer profile and second one is business to business profile as well what will be your marketing strategy this is also a very important component of your business plan and this section will explain the different different methods and ways to 
the market your goods or services it means when you say the marketing it is uh, regarding what is the need of the client and how to fulfill those needs so need of the client and fulfilling those need that can be done only with the help of the one word that is understanding once that you understand the need of the client then only you will be able to manufacture and provide the goods or services now what will be the advertising objective that you need to decide first how you will be going to promote your product or services what will be your product uh, promotional mix and their objective your ideas regarding how your target customers will get information and your plan to create a customer list and keep in touch with the need of your customers now the next point is the competition first of all what is competition when two businesses selling the same kind of products or services with similar benefits and features targeting the same audience is known as competition so this section indicates how your product or services is uniquely positioned in the market in relation to the competition you need to think about your potential competitors and how your business will take advantage of the market gap ignored by the competition next one is the location location is very important to start a new business and play important role to grow the business it includes why you have selected your location what is your distribution channel to reach the target customers and how the competition is to your location what are the possibilities for your expansion building is owner or lease for example that you are having your own building or that you are going to lease so all these things that you need to consider beforehand because there will be lot of expenditure associated with that and the now last one is can you do the business at the location as per law means what is the territory where the the municipality will allow to do that kind of business in that area or not so all these things that you need to consider before starting your business the next one is the management management is very important for your business to grow owner of the business must make sure that the person they are going to hire have specific skills required to run the business it also includes the goals business vision mission what is the short term goals and a medium term goal if you talk about the short term goal that may be for one year and medium term goal that can be of 3 years if you talk about the long term goal that can be more than 5 years so what is the control system of the management the period review of the goals it means the periodically the review of your targets and goals what is the inventory level inventory management system that you are adopting what is the accounting record system employees responsibilities and so on all these informations that you need to keep in your mind before starting your business as per the management is concerned the next is the organization so under the management what kind of organization that you are starting you are going to start with the sole ownership partnership cooperation or cooperative societies and what will be your organizational structure whenever there are number of employees working in the organization that you need to decide who will be the manager and who will be the employees or subordinates or assistant manager all these things that you need to check out first and what is the leadership style so in the leadership style how is the relationship building and what are the different different strategies for motivating your team to achieve your business goal now the most important part is the personnel in the organization that are the human resources for good business it is very important to have the good team and how the team can contribute to your business success you need to have the list of important members in the organization which task you and your employees will perform it should be specified and must be clear to everyone what will be the employees remuneration how much that you will be paying to the higher level of 
the management and middle and the lower level of management know your team members strength and set the positions qualifications and experience required list other key con consultants and professionals it means in the personal that you need to also make a list of some consultant and professional there may be a need of those professionals and consultants uh, later on in the business now come to the financial section now you are ready to organize your number into the four standard areas so what are those four standard areas the first one is the opening and the projected balance sheet second is cash flow projection next one is income statement and the fourth one is the supporting the financial information and financial analysis so the one by one i am just going to explain the first one here is the projected opening and closing balance sheet now talk about the opening balance sheet and the balance sheet that we know there are two sides of the balance sheet asset side and the liability side so in the asset side we have some current assets and uh, fixed assets on the liability side that we have a short term and long term liability as well as the equity equity means the money which is invested by the owner sometime we say this is the capital we should know what will be the opening balance sheet and next one that we should know what is the closing balance sheet as well it means once that we are going to start business at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year how that we will be able to judge the health of the company it will show the financial health of the business and compare with industry ratios there are number of ratios uh, the important ratios i am just discussing that the first one is the liquidity ratio this is all about the current and the quick ratios solvency ratios which is related to that how our business is going to sustain for the long period of time it also include that debt to equity ratio these are the some of the important ratios there are a number of ratios that i have discussed in another video now next is the projected cash flow so it includes the total of estimated cash inflow and cash outflow as well so as to maintain the sufficient cash to pay off the current liabilities in this case the before starting your business you should know from where the cash will be coming monthly basis quarterly basis or annual basis so we need to go for that like monthly cash flow for the first year and the annual cash flow for the next two year that you should prepare beforehand this is not the actual one but this is the projected one no projected income statement it is all about the expected outcome of your business how much money you would earn from your business for the first 3 years which includes the calculation of the profit maybe weekly monthly or yearly so figure out the estimated sales and your all operating and non operating expenditures and to find out the net profit after and before the taxes as well so this is all about the projected income statement so we have discussed a lot of things by making the business planner so what is the conclusion it is wise to prepare the business plan before you start your business so i have covered some of the important uh, points to clarify uh, of your business that in your mind so it means that you have something in your mind regarding your business beforehand and also we have discussed the major component of the business plan such as the product or services marketing competition management location organizational structure and estimated the financial statement which is also known as income and expenditure account and the balance sheet of the company so i have explained so uh, just a brief of the business plan